everyone. Welcome to my We Speak Loud podcast. Oh, look, I have a friend that's joining me. Want to say hello? His name is Gordon. He'll be joining us today. Um, the reason why I have Gordon join us because he's happy, he's smiling. So I hope that we can bring joy and happiness to the world. And, and I actually bought this、uh, stuffed animal a couple months ago because I was under a lot of depression, anxiety from、um, working in healthcare. Like, I kind of have like trauma from working there. And so I bought this little friend here just to、um, get through my day because I was just、um, kind of in a dark place. You know, it, working in healthcare was not easy at all. And it's funny because we talk about mental health and, you know, in healthcare and it's not provided for us. It's very unfortunate. And I'm hearing stories on like LinkedIn and like articles saying that, yeah, working in healthcare is very, very tough. And why is it so tough? You know, why is mental health so tough? Why is it that, you know, it's like we have so much stress that it's just, Impossible to get rid of this stress. Well, let me tell you. You know, when you are working in a workplace and there's a lot of stuff, you know, you have to take care of a lot of stuff and manage. Well, yeah, you're gonna have a lot of anxiety and stress. Some people might even, you know, commit suicide because of that. I mean, There's other countries like Japan that, you know, they have really high rates of suicide because there's so much pressure. You know, why do we have so much pressure? It's that pressure that, you know, causes all this mental health、um, issues within us. And a human can only take so much. How much stress can we take? How about zero stress? And I want to talk about, you know, there's a place in Japan called Okinawa, and they are so happy. They don't have any stress. They live to like 110 years old. They have longevity. Why? Why can't we have that? Well, let me tell you why we can't have that. Because everyone wants money, money, money. If no money, no talk. And so we have to work hard for our money if we want to live in America. And in America, it's all about money, it's all about, you know, being able to. Work for another person, and they don't even care about mental health at all because they only care about business operations, they don't care about the individual. Well, if you think about working in healthcare and a doctor isn't taken care of, or the staff members aren't taken care of, you think we can actually take care of the patients? No, unbelievable. And you can't say patient first. You can't say customer first because people can quit. People can just, you know, decide that this job isn't for them. And then we will never be able to resolve these issues internally because you know why? You know why we can't resolve these internally? Because sometimes when you work in a workplace, people don't listen. That's why. A lot of times we hear what we want to hear. And unfortunately, people think that because they're the managers, they're your boss, 
they can say whatever they want to say to you. And that's why we need to change corporate America. We need to have more Gordon in our workplaces. We need more happiness. We need more freedom. We need more like lightheartedness. Why are we so ingrained in like this culture where we have to work so much until we die, until we literally die? And this comes to what what I like to call self love. We need to pro promote more self love in ourselves. Why is that? What is self love? What about like what's the difference between self love and self care? Well. Here's the difference between self-love and self-care. Self-care is external activities that we do on a daily basis. Like yoga, going out for a jog or a run, you know, hang out with your friends, bubble bath, get a massage, you know, meditation, things that you do on a daily basis that's external that makes you feel good like exercise but aren't there already self-care apps out there that promotes like you know mental health and you know promote your well-being yeah that's true we have a lot of self-care apps but but but, but self-care apps only can handle so much for the individual imagine you come home you're like, you're stressed from work, you know, you have all this stuff you need to do, you need to take care of kids, you need to, you know, do grocery shopping, you need to cook, you need to clean, you need to, you manage a lot on your day to day. It's like, if you're a mom, you can't just take a break, really, you have to be a mom 24-7. Otherwise, the house is going to fall apart. And... That's why it results to a lot of stress. And then imagine you have, you know, your 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 jam your schedule is jam packed already. You come home, and you do all these things, and then you go back, you go, and then you finally finish everything. You cook, you clean, you put your kids to sleep, and then and then you go you go to bed. And then next day, rinse and repeat, all over again. It's like nonstop. You grind, you come home, you cry, and then you go back out there and you hustle again. There's no time for you to even think about self-love at all. And let me tell you what's the difference between self-love. Self-love is internal, it's in here. It doesn't, it's not external. It doesn't come from your friends, hang out with your friends, and that's called self-love. Last year, I was talking to a friend of mine and I was telling her about self-love and self-care and she didn't know the difference. So I explained to her and then she said this, wait, I don't get it. Like. I don't get it. If I'm going out with my friends and if I'm, you know, doing things that I like to do, having fun with my friends, that's self that's self love, that's self care. That's that's still taking care of myself. Um eh, eh, no, that is not what self love means. I mean you can look up these terminologies of what self-love means on Google is very simple but we tend to collapse self-love and self-care together because it sounds the same yeah it does sound the same but self-love is forgiveness it's acceptance it's acknowledging acknowledgement acknowledging yourself 
and gratitude. These are all self-love. It comes from within. And if you think about this, if you think about it this way, when you're on a plane and then suddenly the, the pilot, um, the captain tells you, put on your mask right now. What do you do? You're gonna put on Gordon first? Or you're gonna put on your kids first? Or on yourself first? Well, duh. You put it on yourself first. Why? Why do you have to put on self first? Because if you go out, you go out. Your kids, they go out with you. Because kids, they need their parents to take care of them. And that's why you put the mask on yourself first. And let me tell you another analogy before I go about self-love. Self-love is like, okay, so you're driving a car and then all of a sudden your car breaks down. And then, you know, it breaks down because, well, you're either you have no gas or there's something wrong with your engine. There's something going on in your car you don't even know. And, you know, with self-love, it's really, like I, like I said, it's internal. Like your car. Your, your car cannot run on its own without the engine, without um, fuel, without wheels, because it won't even go at all. It would just be stagnant. And you need to have, like, you know, the exhaust, you know, to release the gas, everything. You need those, those important things to make the car run and just like our body we need our heart our lungs to function we need both kidneys we can live with one kidney but we need we need at least one kidney to to live and we need a brain of course but we can you know lose a, a finger like toes, maybe arms and legs, not to be gross, but you can live without those, without eyes too, without nose, without, without mouth, you can still live and function, but it's going back to the car. It's like the one important thing that we don't really think about in a car is step on the brake, dude. Step on a brake. Why do we need to step on a brake? Well, step on a brake means that you're not going to hurt someone else. And you're not going to hurt yourself because you're taking a break. A break. This is why we have a lot of mental health problems because we don't take breaks. And companies don't allow us to take breaks at all. They just go, 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 go. Keep that car, keep going, go, 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 go. You're out of gas, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I don't care if you're out of gas or not, keep going. <laughs> that's like, that's why people crash and burn. It's like it turns from stress to burnout. That's how I was feeling working in healthcare. I was constantly going home, crying, and I was not sleeping well. Um, I started to develop the symptoms of like my stomach pain, like my stomach was hurting, and I was not eating at all. I lost a lot of weight because of that stress and that burnout. And also because I wasn't supported at all. And it wasn't just me, it was a lot of us working in healthcare that wasn't fully supported. It's all about, you know, business, making money, operations, patients are more important than the healthcare workers. But you are just so, keep going. We don't care about you, keep going. I don't care if you need to speak to a therapist. I don't care if you're sick. 
you still you need to get a doctor's note. I don't care. I don't care if you die. Why are we like this? Why? Why are we torturing each other? We're human beings, right? So, if you take away anything from today, self-love is more important because self-love is internal. If you can heal from within, if you can love yourself from within, then whatever you do, whatever thing come your way, you feel okay. You'll be okay. You can't do self-care because, I mean, b before you do self-love, before you learn about what self-love means to you. Self-care can only, it's like a band-aid. It's like you're putting a band-aid over a wound that never will heal. That's basically what self-care is. You're just going out of your way, doing yoga. It's like, okay, I feel great for one hour. And then the next hour, it's like, God darn it. And then stress comes back all over again. But when you think about self-love, you can think about peace. You can smile a little more like Gordon. And you can cherish things a little more too. And not make things too um, significant. And just relax. Acceptance. Forgiveness. Appreciation. Acknowledgement. And that's how we can heal ourselves. You can only heal yourself through self-love, not self-care. And you have to start from self-love first and then move on to self-care and then move on to community care where you care for other people. It's a three-step process, but you have to start with self-love first. Right, Gordon? <laughs> All right. Toodle, guys. So I hope that you guys got something out of this. Um, me sharing my a little bit about myself and about self-love and the difference between self-love and self-care. So I'll catch you guys later. And make sure you follow me on YouTube and subscribe to my channel. And also, follow me on Instagram at Sandy. Bye!